for coming up with rules to stall, you know, or, or uh, reasons to stall or deny. A University City woman is outraged after being denied a rebate for removing her lawn. New at 5.30, 10 News reporter Matt Mendez is joining us now live. And Matt, she got denied for jumping the gun. Yeah, that's right, Kim. Her yard used to look like this. Her neighbor's full of grass. Now it looks like this, just dirt and wood chips. And turns out she won't get the incentive she thought she would. Hardscape, I guess they call it. Jean Hamrell wanted to do her part to conserve water, so she applied for the turf removal rebate program in May. The status will say in progress once they receive your application. For weeks, she says the application sat there pending. She hired a landscaper who removed the grass and put in dirt and wood chips. Still, she had no official approval. In fact, she says they gave her the runaround. They were asking for additional documentation. I said, what documentation? I've given you more than actually you requested. Hamrell ended up getting denied, so she called the Metropolitan Water District of Southern California to see if they would have a change of heart. She says, well, I'm inclined to, now that we've you know, combined the front and back, I'm inclined to approve it. But wait, you said you already removed the grass. No, you're denied. People who don't want to follow the instructions, that's too bad. I, I have a problem with that. The Metropolitan Water District tells 10 News the homeowner must be approved before they remove their grass. And they say it's posted all over the application. Hamrell says she must have missed that part. I would have to say no, I didn't know all the rules. A Metropolitan spokeswoman also tells me Hamrell filed a second application for her backyard while the first one was still pending. Another violation of their rules. What makes me angry is I feel like the SoCal people really don't care about us as people and they just expect me to lay down and take it. And Hamrell says she's out about $5,000. Coming up new at 7, why she may never see that money if Metropolitan reverses its decision. We're live from University City, Matt Mendes, 10 News. All right, Matt, thank you.